Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about computed properties in Vue.js. So now, before we start on the tutorial, please go to Tutorials XL and sign up for the newsletter. We share a lot of tutorials and also we share uh, a lot of free courses with you. So go ahead, please sign up for the uh, Tutorials XL newsletter and for sure you will be happy. Uh, with the offers we make and also we have a decent number of courses that you can join either by a, a single course or you can also take a membership a membership is only 99 cents for the first three months so now when we say a uh, computed property in view.js what we mean by that we mean that a value that will be static okay and whoever access that value he uh, he will receive the same value throughout the same component okay so from its name it will be computed and cached by Vue.js and it will not be changed okay now <coughs> sorry uh, if we head over to the computed property oh i'm sorry com uh, computed uh, Vue.js component now to create a, com uh, a computed property inside the script section we need to add the computed uh, attribute okay now right here just as you define a, a function okay you can simply let's call this function or let's call this uh, the now value okay and simply it's just a function and it's just return this dot now now will contain uh, now will contain the date time okay now let's define now so now will be date dot now okay so we have this uh, property right here data property and it has by default the first value will be date dot now okay and we have uh, this computed property it's called now value and as you notice we just like as defining a method okay we have it returning just now okay now what I want to do I will save this okay now I would like to print out I will call in an h an h3 okay I would like to call in the value of now just like I'm calling uh, a string interpretation for any of my data okay and close the h3 now what I want to do also I would like to define a button okay uh, I'm gonna call it check now okay now each time uh, this button is clicked we want to display the value of now inside the console so let's do that let's go now uh, up here and let's add the event binding the add click uh, we need to call a method uh, we're gonna need to create now console let's call it and that's a function and it will just only print out in the console the value of now so we're gonna call in now value okay let's just copy this let's come up here now we're gonna save and hit back to our application now notice that this is the current value we have 277 now when I hit check now oh if we come back sorry we need to call in the this dot now value okay let's clear the console and let's hit check now now notice that I have the same value over here okay now again the computed property it's a cached value okay so when we call in the check now as you notice we having the same value printed out in the console so it's not updated okay so be careful the computed will not be updated okay 
it will be cached on the component okay so now it's actually hit back to the computed uh, to the component i'm sorry now uh, in which case uh, you will be using computed uh, you will be using it for the static data okay that will not change okay or will not change frequently okay so that's the use like uh, instead of you coming over here let's say message dot uh, to lowercase okay uh, dot oh I'm sorry dot split maybe okay okay instead of you coming over here to the string interpretation and providing these methods right here okay the computed you can just simply come down here define a computed for the message okay and it will be like called in whenever you need it instead of that long line of codes inside the string interpretation all right now also we can have the computed value updated uh, in certain cases okay now to do so what we need to do we need to make the now value uh, to have a guitar and a sitter okay the guitar will return uh, for us the this that now value and the sitter will set its new value so let's do that first thing first let's take this okay now what we need to do we need to define a get okay I'm gonna just paste in this now I will also define a set now the set also will take a function and you need to pass in the value for it okay now you need to say this dot now equal the new value okay so now we have a guitar and a sitter for own uh, computed property now value so how we can access it okay let's create first thing first a new method let's call it now update okay now uh, what it will do we need to define a function over here and here we need to just simply, so, uh, simply call in the this dot now value referencing the computed property and it's called just date dot now and make sure you invoke it as a function okay now let's define another button I'm just gonna copy this and uh, now I'm gonna say this will update now and I will just need to call in this and just save it now if we just come back, uh, down over here just a little bit now notice that I have the now value has a get okay inside it just a normal function that just return the now value the other one is the set okay and the other one will set the now value to the new value I want okay the invocation is just like uh, you invoke any uh, property okay with a git and set you just call in the name of the uh, uh, property and you can also uh, give it an equal sign and give it the a new value okay now we have a successful compilation if I head back to the application let's clear the console now if we check the now notice that the value it's not the changing yet I didn't update it but if I had update now notice that I have a new value and when I call in the console it will show me a new value okay instead of this old value and as uh, like as long as I just keep uh, hitting check now uh, without updating the uh, computed uh, value okay it will not be updated if I hit update now and again I hit check now notice again we have a different value not the same one uh, in beginning or before okay so this is how we can define computed property and how we can also make them uh, more dynamic like if we need to update them and pass value to them 
So I hope you enjoy and find the structure useful. Please subscribe to this channel. Please go ahead and subscribe to our mailing list in the tutorialsexcel.com site. And I hope you enjoy and find this tutorial useful. Thank you.